a Barton Springs custom classic car show. think so. Yeah. Tell me who runs the show? Sure, uh, Suzanne Weston. Uh, she's over there. Look for the tightest pants. <laughs> Thanks. Have your ticket, Pam? Great. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, you Miss Weston? Mm-hmm. Name's Michael Knight. I'm a collector. A couple of my buddies told me I hadn't been to a show until I'd been to one of yours. Well, I can see they weren't just blowing smoke. It'll be the best show this season. Well, that's real good to hear because I'm looking for a car, something real special. Of course, I know some of the best deals aren't always in the open market. Sometimes privacy is as important as pink slip. I just run a car show, Michael. I don't handle private sales. But um, hang around, mingle a bit, get to know the owners. Who knows what a good-looking man like you might turn on? Now, now you remember, you wait and make a big show of it. Hey, 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 move back here, folks. Move back, move back. Let the long horn in. Get away from it. There's plenty of gawking to be done on the inside. Dobie, Dobie, come on, take it in there. Hit anybody that touches the paint. Nora, come on. Back off, pard. Don't crowd the horn. Not crowding, just looking. Pard. We gotta have a little talk, Suzanne. I was promised a prima spotting on the inside. I get in, what do I find? I find the Haver girl has got that spot. Now, you got to figure out who the star of this show is, sweetheart. In a minute, in a minute, Buck. This is Michael Knight, Nora and Buck Rayburn. Buck is also a collector. Really? Maybe we'll get a chance to talk later, huh? Sure thing, just as soon as I get squared away with the sweetheart here. Now, why can't I put the horn right next to the Haver girl's call? Buck, there's no room. Look at that blonde. Oh! That bathing suit's got to be painted on. What there is of it. Now, she would make a great cheerleader. Will you forget about cheerleaders? Who cares about credentials here? I'm talking flesh. You know what it takes to get that kind of flesh, Hector? Big bucks, Hector, or a hot car. You know the people here? Well, some. Mostly by reputation. They're a mixed bag. Owners, drivers, collectors. Lots of wheeling and dealing. <laughs> what about this uh, Suzanne Weston? Hmm. Suzanne. She's the type of woman who wants something if someone else has it. Cars, men, it doesn't matter. That's my car!
train. That's precisely my point. There is. All right, let's have a look. Can Carrie's car make it? If it does, it will be by the skin of its bumper. What about us? Certainly not in the conventional way. Get ready, pal. Michael. No contract on earth is going to keep the Longhorn here overnight again. I'm lucky that thief was blessed with bad taste and didn't steal a horn as it is. I could sue you, Rayburn. Not without a countersuit, Miss Weston. Your contract guaranteed adequate security. You tell her, Sweet Pea. I'll double the security. Oh, gosh. They said they'll do their best, which is a sure sign they have no hope of recovering it. Don't make it any worse than it already is. Couldn't get any worse. Thanks for trying to help. By the way, that's some car you've got. Who are you? I mean, you're more than what you've said. Well, believe it or not, I'm here to find out who's been stealing the cars whenever there's a show. What are you, an undercover cop? Something like that. Well, listen, I don't know about you, but my car's all I've got. Let me work with you. I'm sorry, I work alone. Besides, it could be dangerous. Well, I'm not afraid. Please, I... <laughs> if you had anything to do with this, if that's an accusation, you better be able to back it up. Oh, if I could back it up, you wouldn't be standing there with your eyeshadow so perfectly overdone. Well, you've got a smart mouth for a girl who's just turned in her training bra, sweetie. Okay, hold it. Nobody feels very good about this, and this is not going to make anybody feel any better. So why don't we call it a draw, and each of us go off to our neutral corners? What's your interest in this? Just mingling, like you said. Well, maybe you should learn to be a little more selective. <sighs> Come on. I'll buy you a lemonade. A double. <laughs>